Cloud Stacking SEO. Hello SEO people, my name is Jesper Nissen and in this video I'm going to talk to you about Cloud Stacking SEO. And if you stick around to the end, I will show you how you can actually get your websites indexed by Google at the moment. I found a method that seems to be working fine. Be sure to like and subscribe this video and to the subscribe to my channel so you will get notified whenever I publish new contents. So let me just minimize myself here. So um, I have this website called jespernissen.com and I have a blog and I have a shop where I sell my SEO courses in, among other things, to the moment uh, SEO. So uh, I made a blog post about let me just see here about how to create Twitter moments in 2021, because it seems that uh, Twitter, they updated their user interface. So, um, yeah, so it's, it's become a little bit more difficult to create Twitter moments. And I created this blog post where I uh, talk about how you can actually do that in the new and updated user interface by Twitter. So um, currently, if I search for Google, or a week ago when I searched for Google, I was number seven when I searched for how to make a Twitter moment. And now I am number four. So what happens? Well, yesterday I made a simple one pager, a simple web page on Amazon S3. <clears throat> I made it on my computer and I uploaded to Amazon S3. And um, I designed this HTML template to support seven keywords. So uh, what I did was I thought, well, how can I make this page relevant to Google? Well, I can make it relevant by saying, well, this is my main keywords, how to make a Twitter moment. Let's copy this. And uh, let me just go over to Google here how to make it to it a moment. And then I can scroll down to the bottom to see what people are searching for else. Twitter moment cover size, how to make moments on Twitter, uh, how to make moments on Twitter iPhone, how to make it to it a moment on mobile. I can also, you know, click up here and, you know, see what's happening here. And, um, so what I did was, uh, that's, yeah, it's extremely simple. So that's what I did. I selected these six additional keywords, put them in here. And then I went over to Article Forge to uh, write about 1400 words of content based on the first two keywords here. And then I simply inserted the seven keywords everywhere in these two menu items and these headers here. I'll just scroll down so you can see here. So, um, <clears throat> This up here, how to make it to a moment, how, how to make it to a moment on mobile. These are the first two keywords and this is the H1. And this links back to my uh, blog page, blog post that you can see here. We'll just go back here. So uh, this is an H2, this is an H2, do, 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 et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So what I did was I inserted these um, jump links that I, where, where I insert the keywords and then I inserted the text from Article Forge that you can see here. I embedded my video. I embedded my uh, mind maps that I made yesterday evening. But the key, targeted keyword for the mind maps was how to make it to the moments. And uh, I, that's basically what I did. I inserted also links to my Twitter and my Facebook to make it look real. So to me and to Google and to visitors, this actually looks like a real website. <clears throat> so I published it around midnight, I'd say 23 hours ago, about, uh, about uh, one day, approximately one day ago. So um, then I went into Google, or I can go into Google now to see how to make it to it a moment. And um, what happened was that it's pushed up actually my website three places from place seven to place four. And my web page, I didn't actually do any link building to my own web page. You can see here I use main Google's to check my authority. And you can see I have a domain authority of two, and I have a page authority of 23, 
and I have no backlinks to talk of to my website. So I think that it's rather nice that I uh, <clears throat> I pushed up my my web page three places from seven to four by creating one web page, and it, it took me about an hour to create it. Um, and then I, I made a list here because I checked all the the seven keywords. So the main uh, the main point the main thing that happened was that it moved my blog post from seven to four. And um, so how to make it to the moment. Uh, it's actually the Amazon page is actually ranking number 11. Let me just check here if it's correct. How to make it to the moment. It should be ranking on page two. Here it is. Uh, this is my medium account. Uh, how to make it to the moment on mobile. It's also ranking there. Just check. So this is my web page, <clears throat> yespanesen.com. This is the Amazon page. Uh, it should also be ranking for this keyword, how to make moments on Twitter iPhone. And it seems to be ranking here on page one also. Number six, seven, something like that. <clears throat> uh, it's also ranking on page two for, for how do you Make a Twitter moment. Let's just see here if that is correct. Do, 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 do. Here's my website. Do, 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 do. Let me go to page two. Do, 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 do. And here it is on page two. So that was the results of my test. So that just goes to show you that um, in here in 2021, you can still use cloud stacking, cloud pages to make powerful web pages that can boost your own website and they can also rank for themselves. So um, the reason that this can happen uh, in this way and the reason that this can become so powerful, you can see here on the Mangools, the plugin that I use, if I show the data for this exact URL, it has uh, this URL has a domain authority of 93 and it has a page authority of 45. So I know that these are not numbers that Google use. These are numbers that comes from uh, Moss and Majestic, these four numbers here. But this page authority of 45, it gives you some kind of indication of the link juice or link power that can be transferred from this page. And you can see here that this is a link. And if I disable this plugin, you can see that this is a do follow link. So this do follow link passes a lot of authority from this page. And I made sure that it was extremely relevant to the target page because I made sure to insert, uh, to uh, add all the relevant keywords that I found on Google, that Google is showing me. So now we're coming to the end of the video. And um, as I promised you, I'm going to tell you how I got this indexed because I uploaded it to Amazon and after four or five hours, it was indexed. So what I did was I created a bunch of Twitter moments on my uh, agency account, Twitter account, and on my yespanisten.com or yespanisten SEO Twitter account, and point, pointed them towards uh, this URL. Uh, I also made one Google My Business post about my test. Um, and um, then I um, uploaded the URL to three different indexes. So that seemed to do the, the trick. So the combination of the three indexing services and uh, the Twitter moments and the Google My Business post, that seemed to do the trick and got this indexed in five hours. And normally I have very, very big trouble getting, pro very big problems getting these Amazon files indexed. So yeah, there you have it. This was my short video about my tests I made yesterday about the um, power of Amazon files. I'll leave now and take care and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.